Hey man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go to PayPal at Dean by any means. There go to Cash App dollar sign Dean by any means. Y'all already know what this is, and y'all know anytime I got stuff in red, we gonna cook. Hey Earl Spence, can you please watch these snakes? I told y'all I'm going to be your biggest nightmare on YouTube, man. Because the difference between me and everybody else, I'm for it all. Because I know half of your content creators ain't about half of what you say. And some of the information I got on some of y'all, you don't want to go down that road with me. Snakes in the grass. How are you an Earl Spence supporter? Supposed to be man down. Supposed to be Earl Spence's friend. But you crapping on Frank Martin, all in the love of Devin Haney. Watch your circle before they hurt you. You got dudes that swear up and down. They the biggest Earl Spence fans in the world, but trying to stop that man money, trying to diminish his fighter, the first fighter he got. Like, Frank Martin is the staple of man down promotions. And you're going to crap on Frank Martin all for Devin? I told y'all the tank haters will be exposed. Real dudes and fake dudes will be exposed. And I know it's people that don't want me to do it to this to these con content creators. I understand that. I get it. But I got to. Everybody else can choose to be quiet. I ain't knocking it. Do your thing. I won't. I ain't got a relationship with them. I don't even like them. So when you get on these YouTube um, channels, I'm going to hold you to your contradictory. You cannot say that you are a fan of Earl Spence. You are a friend of Earl Spence. You are a Porter Man Down Promotions, but you crapping on Frank Martin? But perfectly fine with, with, with Ryan fighting Devin Amy. Perfectly fine with that, but wasn't even fine with that when Devin, when um Tank was fighting him? Remember, the same content creators, Ryan wasn't good just three months ago. Tank don't fight nobody. Legacy. We haven't heard that word legacy in a month and a half now. Has anybody heard anything about legacy now? You know why? Because he's fighting Ryan Garcia. So you know you don't want to bring that argument up because then you're, I'm glad I went live the other day and exposed. And I got, De I had Devin Haney fans begging me to not hold um, Devin to Javante Davis standards. Then stop comparing him then then tell y'all mans to do whatever the hell Tank's to tell him to do when he tells him to do it. Send a contract. No, part of being a B-side is understanding I ain't got to do it when you say. Who is you? You in a different division. You moved and left the division. You cowered out. Y'all supposed to be Earl Spence and y'all um, mans and y'all trying to stop his money. If you was really his man's Frank Martin to be the one fighter, you'll be big enough. Nah, you know what? I don't like Tank, but Frank, Frank that bull. No, you're not going to do that because your man Devin Haney got a fight. And so you're going to try to diminish Tank fight, but it doesn't matter. Y'all fighters are doing a good enough job at diminishing their own fight, sir. Yeah, I could talk spicy on YouTube because to be honest, why I don't go at a lot of these other guys is because of the respect I have for certain other content creators that I know got relationships with them. You understand? And the difference between me and those other guys is that the people that I actually consider cool, consider to be associates, consider to be friendly with friends, and I'm not going to say I'm friends with anybody until I meet them in person, actually, like, sit down and chop it up with them on multiple occasions. But, what I, but I already know that certain people like other people, and I get it. And I'm not even going to diminish them just because I know that they cool with people. But they they are do it to they are do it to the same content creator I'm talking about. They won't have that same respect for them knowing that they cool with other content creators. They'll call them all types of names out the book. They don't care. I do. But play with me though, and I'll be and I'll be the reason that your whole channel gets shut down. I'll be the reason people come at you every day because I won't stop. You know why I won't stop? Because y'all can't whoop me. So I want somebody to get out of pocket and say, meet up, come out at me, do all of these things. That'll be the that be the day you get exposed on YouTube for real. Because I'm recording everything. Throw your dukes up, let's record it. See, I'm with all that. Because real men, we not, I don't want confrontation. I don't go towards confrontation. But I don't shy away from it if you bring it, though. 
Because I know y'all dudes not more of a man than me. That's the difference. I know you can't whoop me. So I choose not to bully you. I could. I literally could. What, what would you do to stop it? Nothing. You would have to do it behind your phone or your computer. That's where you would have to do it at. You got dudes that's out here that really claim that they man down, but doing everything they can to diminish Javante Davis versus Frank Martin. Two of the same things can't be true. You can't be my homie. Say you support me. Then I'm putting on the a major fight for a fighter that I promote, y'all. I promote him. And then you go on your platforms and talk crazy about the fight, the fight in a fighter, just because you don't like the fighter he's fighting. Because they have a rival, rival with a fighter you support, a.k.a. Devin Haney. But then claim you're not biased. When these same content creators have talked more about Javante Davis than they ever have Devin Haney, they fight or can't even... Look, Devin Haney is such a B-side, he doesn't even control where the fight happens at. He's asking Ryan Garcia to get it done. He asked Ryan Garcia to send a contract. He's a B-side to Tank's B-side. But you talking crazy. I don't want to hear about legacy and undisputed and all of that stuff because y'all said Ryan was a bum. Y'all said Ryan was phony. So if Ryan was all that, he's an Instagram fighter. He's an exhibition fighter. Then how is Devin Haney the B-side to that? Then that proves everything we say about Devin Haney. That all those belts and all that means nothing. Because when you get in the negotiating room, it means nothing. He's accomplished way more than Ryan Garcia and still the B-side. But y'all, Earl Spence supporters, y'all are supposed to be his friends? Y'all supposed to be people that big him up? But you'll do everything in your power to take money out of that man pockets? And you know why I say take money out of that man pocket, y'all? Who is Frank Martin's promoter? Didn't Javante Davis say that he better tell his fighter chill before he get hurt? Didn't Javante Davis say that he was talking directly to Earl Spence? Yeah, he was. Ain't Earl going to get a, a certain percentage off of this fight? So the better the fight does, the more money Earl will get, right? Why would you do anything to try to come in between your man's money? Oh, because nothing's more important than Devin. You just got to act like you like other people than Devin. No, the truth is you will do anything to uphold Devin Haney's name and everybody knows it. And everybody knows it. And y'all make yourself look so bad by trying to act like you don't hate Tank Davis. Trying to act like you like, like you are objective when you at Bill Haney house. When you got Bill on speed dial. When you walking out the ring with Devin Haney. There ain't nothing objective about you. Nothing's objective about you. Can y'all just come out and admit that y'all are getting paid by Bill Haney? It'll make it much easier for people to accept what you do. But y'all sit up here and run y'all mouth, but then ask me to not hold Devin Haney to Javante Davis standards. Wow. I think I've heard it all. Devin's the B-side to Tank's B-side, but Tank's supposed to do something Devin wants him to do. I, I, I want to say that again, y'all. Devin Haney has accomplished all that stuff y'all say he accomplished, right? And he's still the B-side to Ryan Garcia. How did that happen? And even Ryan Garcia conceded everything to Javante Davis. Ryan Garcia wanted to fight at 142. Ryan Garcia wanted to fight at 142. Did that happen? No, if he wanted to fight, he did what Javante Davis told him to do. A catch weight, a rehydration clause. Devin, if you want to fight, you need a catch weight or a rehydration. Whatever Javante Davis decides is what you need to hop on board with. But y'all do supposed to be Earl Spence friends and support with friends like y'all who needs enemies. With friends like you, supporters like you who needs enemies. Now they want to talk about how much Frank Martin pay-per-views didn't sell or he's never been on pay-per-view. By you doing that, you are basically telling people that they shouldn't be watching Frank Martin on pay-per-view. Or at least they should be trying to get Devin to fight him. But it was mighty funny that these same content creators was talking so much about 
they were so happy and excited that Shakur Stevenson was fighting them. They were so happy and excited that Shakur Stevenson was fighting them. Shakur just pointed that out the other day, too. Uh, how hypocritical y'all are. Shout out to Shakur Stevenson for that. So it was cool. Y'all think I'm somebody that can beat Tank. So, But it was cool for me to fight Frank Martin. That was a great fight. But Tank fight him is not a good fight. So you're basically trying to diminish me. Trying to say I'm not on Tank level. That's what we all know. Y'all don't even know how to be supporters. Y'all don't even know how to be friends. Because friends will never try to stop another friend's bag. I got people on YouTube that I respect. So the only reason why some of these content creators even get a break from me, where I ain't putting them on a summer jam screen and on a top every single day, is because of the love I got for other people. And I don't want them to see people that they support go through the hell that I'll, I'll bring them. But they ain't going to stop me from making videos like this, though, exposing it. You say something that's tr untrue and false and is a narrative, and I'm going to address it. I don't care who you are. The day you stop lying on Tank Davis, the day y'all stop diminishing other fighters' accomplishments and who they are in the ring and outside of the ring, I'll, you won't hear me make nothing like this. But I came here for justice. I came here for righteousness. I came here with integrity. And again, y'all haven't proven me wrong about nothing on YouTube yet. Oh, yeah, y'all supposed to be Devin Haney supporters so much. How did I know he was fighting Ryan Garcia before y'all? Y'all was saying he was going to fight Matias, remember? Matias ducked the offer, remember? Clown-ass dudes out here. Clowns. And it's, it's miraculously, they got so much smoke for everybody else. They do not respond to me, and I know they see it. But they know it's good for them. They better not. Do not respond to me. Or it'll be up. It, 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 you, I'll have people begging me to stop the same way I have people begging me to not hold Devin to the same pay-per-view numbers that Ryan and Tank did. Dean, leave him alone. No. Tell him to stop lying first. You can support Devin without trashing Javante Davis. You can support Devin without trashing Frank Martin. You could be a Devin Amy supporter without trashing Earl Spence Promotional Company. You don't have to, you don't have to belittle somebody else to big up somebody else. But then to take that same position if you think somebody doing that to Devin. Y'all know what this is on a Sunday morning. Dean, by any means. And I'll holler at y'all. More heat coming.